you want to at least hit 10,000 followers. One, because it increases the legitimacy. Two, it will allow you to have the swipe up feature and basically run ads to your story. Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be talking about how to build a Instagram page that's perfect for your store. A lot of people build pretty crappy Instagram pages and I'll be showing you guys the correct steps when it comes to building a branded Instagram page. Before we get started, the winners for the last video's giveaway is here. If you want to win a thousand dollars worth of courses or consulting calls with me, drop a comment below and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Leave your IG, make sure to be following me so I can go ahead and DM you if you are chosen to be the winner. Other than that, let's get right into the video. All right, as you can see, I'm going to show you an example of a really, really good branded Instagram page. This is a teeth whitening kit called Brighter White. And as you can see, they have this really nice theme of like white photo, white photo memes. And it's really, really good. And all these memes you would get from a lot of meme pages and just copy and paste it and use it on your own page. And as you can see, looking at the engagement, you know, two comments, 24 comments, six comments, they probably definitely bought followers. Because to have 714k followers for that ratio of engagement, it sounds really, really off. But I might be wrong. But let's check out their website. Okay, their website looks pretty clean. Doesn't look too dropshippy. So I think they're sort of a solid white labeling brand. Not fully a brand, but sort of a step up from dropshipping. But you definitely want to check out their page and how clean it looks. You want photos of the product, photos of it being used, and in between you want um, white background memes and stuff. And I'm going to show you another page, Flex Posture. They did the exact same thing where they have footage of the back corrector being used and in between they have memes. And that's a really cool template that I highly recommend you guys to do because it just makes your page look much cleaner and legit compared to those pages that just have a bunch of random content videos, photos, memes, and it's just all mixed up and jumbled. You definitely want to put thought into your Instagram page because it's going to show when your customers land to your page. Now, so that's tip number one, having a really clean page and feed. Tip number two, you definitely want to buy followers. You want to at least hit 10,000 followers. One, because it increases the legitimacy. Two, it will allow you to have the swipe up feature and basically run ads to your story, run story posts and have it swipe up to the product page. So for that, I recommend using a website called SMM follows.com you can buy 10,000 likes for like $40 which is insanely cheap there's other cheaper options out there um, but this is the one that I have been recommended by other people in the space I personally organically grow my page but when you're running a drop shipping store since I'm running branded stores I want to grow it organically like musicchest.com that's been organically grown when you're in the drop shipping business and you're not growing the brand you're sort of looking to build authenticity straight away so that people are willing to purchase your product straight away you want to go ahead and buy followers because having 50 followers that's going to drastically decrease your conversion rate um, so definitely do that so that's tip number two and yeah tip number three is running story posts where you can now add swipe up links so when you do post a story post people can go ahead and basically purchase so as a result look at this person they created a highlight so you want to create a story then create a highlight and you want to just basically reuse footage that you use for your ads, put it in a horizontal format, add your link to that story, put that story into your highlights so you could create this shop now sort of highlight. And that's another good tip. So that's tip number three. But yeah, this is a pretty short video, but I think a lot of people ask and inquire about how to set up an Instagram page, how to make it e-commerce friendly. And that's the reason why I set up this video, giving you guys three simple formulas to follow to create a successful Instagram page. Now, if you want to get these videos one day early, I highly recommend you to check out my podcast in the description below where you can get all these videos one day ahead. And they'll give you a 24 edge on top of everyone else following the YouTube channel. Furthermore, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, sign up for my mentorship application linked in the description below where you can personally work with me one-on-one. -on -one. My team will go through your application and we'll be choosing specific clients to work with. Question of the day, are you currently using Instagram for your business? If so, tell me about it. I want to learn how you use Instagram to boost your business, whether it's e-commerce, marketing, lead generation, 
I want to see how you use Instagram. If not, say you don't use Instagram and tell me why you think Instagram would be good for your business. So that's the question of the day. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. If you guys have, be sure to drop a like below. Be sure to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So share this channel with all your friends. And yeah, hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Peace.